Repeated integration by parts occurs when the integral of v du is itself a product of unrelated functions. In this case, we must perform another integration by parts to derive an expression for the integral of v du. First, let us consider the integral of x e to the x dx. So we know that integration by parts is given by the integral of u dv equals u v minus the integral of v du. And we know that when we have two functions which we know how to integrate, in this case x and e to the x, we choose u to be x, or the power function, as when we differentiate u, its order will decrease by 1, and hence we'll have an easier integral to calculate. So here we choose u equals x, and dv equals e to the x dx. Now we differentiate u to get du dx equals 1. And multiplying across by dx, we have that du equals dx. While if we integrate dv, we get that v equals the integral of e to the x, which is simply e to the x. So that means that the integral of x e to the x dx equals u times v. So x multiplied by e to the x minus the integral of v, so e to the x multiplied by du, which is dx. So tidying this up, we have x e to the x. Integrating e to the x, we simply get e to the x, so minus e to the x plus c. And we can go one step further here. As you can see, we have an e to the x and another e to the x. So we can take a common factor of e to the x into x minus 1 plus c. Now consider this example here, the integral of x to be squared e to the x dx. So again, our integration by parts is u dv equals u v minus the integral of v du. And again, we will choose u to be x squared, or the algebraic term. So we pick u equals x squared, and dv equals e to the x dx. So now when we calculate du dx, we have 2x, or du equals 2x dx. While when we integrate dv, we get v equals e to the x. So now the integral of x squared e to the x dx equals u times v. So x squared e to the x minus the integral of v du, which is e to the x multiplied by 2x dx. And tidying this up, we have x squared e to the x minus 2 the integral of x e to the x dx. So to calculate the integral of x squared e to the x, we must calculate the integral of x e to the x dx. However, from the last part, we found out that the integral of x e to the x was given by e to the x into x minus 1, plus the arbitrary constant c. So that means that the integral of x squared e to the x dx is given by x squared e to the x minus 2 multiplied by e to the x x minus 1 plus an arbitrary constant plus c. And we tidy this up, so we have x squared e to the x minus 2 e to the x by x, so 2x e to the x minus 2 e to the x by minus 1, so minus by minus gives us plus, so plus 2 e to the x plus c. And again we have a common factor of e to the x, so we can take out an e to the x into x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus c. What we just did here is a repeated integration by parts. So we had this integral of x e to the x within our answer for the integral of x squared e to the x. So we had to go off and calculate another integration by parts here, and then substitute this answer in to our equation for the integral of x squared e to the x dx.